the winner for the first time since he has been appearing here in the first game. 244 to 200 is Eddie Kowalik. Come on out. Hi, Joe. Are you superstitious? No, not a bit. Okay, fine. Here is your 25 for winning. That was a real game after that railroad. Let's see how you guys can do in the second one. Thank you, Joe. Okay, Eddie Kowalik. We're ready for the big second game. Eddie Kowalik, having won the first one, 244 to 200, he leads by 44 pins. And as we pointed out, this is the first time that Eddie has ever gone into the second game up. And you wonder what might happen there. Eddie, incidentally, has been surprisingly consistent in the third frame of his first game. He's had a railroad every time he's been here. There he goes with a strike. Eddie didn't like that ball and went up when he let it go. But uh, it must have changed its mind on the way because there's that strike for him. Steve Nagy starting out on the six. Hello, Husky, as you see. 5'10", weighs 199, 40 years old, on six. Oh, what a beautiful strike. What a beautiful strike. And they were practicing here before this match started. Steve Nagy with a strike. Eddie Kowalik with a strike. Eddie turned back to Matt Neeson, our producer and official judge here, and said, have you weighed these balls? Inferring, of course, the way that strike was blasted in that practice session that he must be using more than a 16-pound ball. All right, on five. And there it is. There it is. Steve Nagy finally finds the range on alley five, and Steve strings himself a double, and he needs all the strikes he can get here now to catch up to Eddie Kowalik, who is rough with the lead. Eddie with one strike there, and going after that double if he can get it. Eddie, like Steve, is stocky, not quite as tall, 5'8", weighs 180. He's 46 years old. Beautiful strike ball that Kowalik throws. So each man has a double and we're all even as we move down the line. Kowalik's, however, enjoying a 44-pin lead for the match thus far. Eddie was born in Scranton, Pennsylvania, was a star bowler in Cleveland, which is where Steve Nagy hails from at the moment. Came here a few years back to bowl in the Classic League. He's a member of the King Louis bowling shirt team in that loop. Ah, he leaves the 10-pin standing. He was just a shade light on that. So Eddie will have to settle for a spare here in the third frame. Although he didn't catch the rail, he has failed at least to strike in the third frame of this second game. After the 10. Almost tipped over, he almost tipped over, he almost fouled on that, almost fouled on that, but saved himself for a spare. Holy mackerel. So Eddie Kowalik has 49 through the second and a spare up. Steve Nagy has a double working for him. Steve moving over to six. Steve was born in Schoff, Pennsylvania. Ooh, is that going to be good? It is, it is, where he sat down there. I wondered if that might come up a little high on the nose, but it didn't, and there's a turkey working for Steve, and he's beginning to cut in here a little bit. He has a lead of 11 pins now in this game, and that cuts that 44 margin to 33 sticks on the match. Steve Nagy with 30 through the first now, and this turkey going for him. Three straight strikes. Steve moving over to five. He hit the alley the last time. See if he can do it two times running. He can. He can. Boy, this guy is dead. He is rough. So Steve Nagy has 60 through the second now, and a double out in front of him on a four-bagger. Eddie Kowalik's with 49 through the second, and a spare up, and down 11 pins. Eddie Kowalik's ready to go on six. And Eddie is beginning to lose a little of that lead he enjoyed when he first started out. Eddie coming over on six. Man, boy, boy. Man, what a strike. That one was really home, wasn't it? So Eddie Kowalik says 69 through the third and a strike up now. He is down two marks as Steve Nagy has 60 through the second and a double out in front of him on a string of four. Mr. Kowalik now. 19 pins. Correction, 21. Eddie on five. <laughs> oh, he was light there. Ooh. He 
his length there, and he's got a 2-7 rail to shoot for. So Eddie Kowalik missed that rail in the third frame, but he's caught it in the fifth here. And this one is going to be rather interesting to see how he will go for it. Lining up to the left of center. And apparently is going to play for his hook on the inside. Yeah, setting down in the middle. Trying to go between and die. Beautiful, beautiful shot. So Eddie Kowalik converts that rail. And he has 89 through the fourth and a spare working for him. Steve Nagy with 60 through the second and two out in front of him on a four-bagger. Steve leading by 21 pins. He was down 44 coming into this match, so he's only 23 away. If Eddie had caught that rail, it would have done it. Steve on six. Oh, boy, oh, boy, the way that ball snaps in there. And Eddie almost injured his back, back on the body English of that one. So that gives him 90 sticks through the third. A double out in front of him first on the heels of a five-bagger. Eddie Kowalik's 89 through the fourth and a spare up. And Mr. Nagy continues to lead. Continues to lead by 21 pins. And project that, it's 31 now. On five, on five, on five. There it is. Six straight strikes for Steve Nagy. Man, oh man, this fellow is roaring back. He's got 120 through the fourth. A double out in front of him on the heels of a six-bagger. Eddie Kowalik's with 89 through the fourth and a square up. And Eddie is down 31 pins. He's lost 31 of those 44, which means he only has... 13 to play with now. Eddie on six. The alley on which he is dead. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, just snapping in there at that last minute. So Eddie Kowalik hangs on here with 109 through the fifth and a strike going for him. He is down 41 pins. However, he just has three of that lead he had as Steve Nagy has strung six straight strikes. Eddie Kowalik moving over to five now. Told you he had had his big moments, too. In the ABC, for example, he's rolled three 1900 series, 1964, 59, and 21. And there she is. There she is for Eddie Kowalik, and he is a long way from through yet. As Eddie Kowalik gives himself a double now, 109 through the fifth and a double working for him. Steve Nagy working on six straight strikes and leading by 41 pins in this game. He's only three away on the match, on six. How about it? 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 Eddie Kowalik was afraid he might be a little high on that, but he sure wasn't, and there is seven in a row. And that is an equal to the string we had had here before when Eddie Kowalik strung seven to start out with. Now, 150 through the fifth for Nagy and a double out in front of him. Eddie Kowalik says 109 through the fifth and a double. Nagy up 41 pins on five. How about this? How about this? There it is! There it is! Eight straight strikes. The biggest string we have had toward a perfect game yet, and don't forget that perfect game carries a thousand dollars with it. Look at it. 180 through the sixth and a double out in front of him. Eddie Kowalik with 109 through the fifth and a double working for him. And Eddie Kowalik is still down. 41 sticks in this game. He leads by three on the match. Boy, what a set this is. Eddie Kowalik on six. He's got to keep rolling. He's got to keep striking. He's got to keep striking. And he does. He does. There's a turkey for Eddie Kowalik. And this match goes down right to the wire. Man, oh man. Kowalik still 41 pins away in this game as he shows now 139 through the sixth and two out in front of him. Steve Nagy with 180 through the sixth and a double out in front of him. All right, Eddie Kowalik's moving over to five in the ninth frame. Boy, boy, what a match. Eddie. Four-bagger for Eddie Kowalik. Gee whiz. And Eddie Kowalik's with 169 through the seventh. Two strikes to work on. Steve Nagy is working on an eight-bagger. He is going for that grand if he can get it. On six and the ninth frame. How about it? How about it? How about it? How about it? He's got it right in the pocket. Right in the pocket. And he's got 210 through the seventh and two strikes to work on. Eddie Kowalik's with 169 through the seventh and a double working for him. And Mr. Nagy is really stringing him here. Nagy and his first ball in the tenth on five. 
How about it? How about it? There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. And he's going right over to that scoreboard to make sure. Right over to that scoreboard to make sure. Oh, man, this is the closest I've ever come to seeing a perfect game. This is the closest I've ever come. I've never seen a no-hitter in baseball. I've never seen a perfect game in bowling. I've never seen a hole-in-one, for that matter. How about it? How about it? shot, and Niggy has never seen this pair of alleys before at Fates Neeson in Chicago. Congratulations. I was saying before that last one, I'd never seen a perfect game before. I'd never seen a perfect game in baseball, a no-hitter. I'd never seen a hole-in-one, but I've seen that perfect game in bowling, and I rather imagine that's the first time a perfect game has ever been filmed. To my knowledge, I've never heard of one being done. Have you? I had Grass Castellani had it on TV in New York. Did he? Yeah. Did he? That wasn't filmed. Though. Well, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Go sit down. You deserve it. <laughs> what? You sure may. Steve Nagy said, can I get a drink of water? And the answer is emphatically yes. Holy mackerel. A thousand dollars. Mr. Nagy just put away. He just put away a grand. All right, Eddie Kowalik's will try to make the best he can out of this game. And you notice Eddie was the first one out to congratulate Steve. He knows what those things mean. Eddie with 169 through the seventh and a double out in front of him. Eddie can have a big game here. If he can finish out here. Come on, Eddie! Light he is. He leaves the dinner bucket. The two, four, five, eight. So Eddie's chance to get a really big game here. Eddie could have got himself 255 game here if he had struck out. And that wouldn't have put him too off, too far off the pace. He had a 44 pin advantage going into this game. So it would have put him down only one stick. Gosh, old fish hooks. A two, four, five, eight. He needs them all for another shot. And he's got him. He's got him. And it's still going to be a big game for Eddie Kowalik's with 215 through the length and a possibility here of 235. That'll put him down 65 on the match. He had 44 to start with, so it'll only put him 21 off going into the third and final game. Holy mackerel, I've never seen bowling like this before in my life. Nagy said these alleys brought your confidence back. And how? <laughs> and he leaves the seven pin standing for a still excellent count. And so Eddie Kowalik winds up with 234. And the winner of this, the most momentous game of bowling I have ever seen in my life, 300 to 234 is Steve Nagy over Eddie Kowalik's. We'll be back with that big third one that tells the story and how in just a moment after this interesting message. <laughs> well, in all the weeks I've been coming out here to present money, I don't think I've ever come out here with quite as big a lump in my throat as I have right now. The winner of the second game, 300, count them, 300 to 234, he leads in the match 500 to 478, he picked up the 44 pins he was down and added 22 to those, which is the advantage he carries into the third game, the 300 bowler, Steve Nagy. Let's build up to this thing, shall we? First of all, here's $25 for winning your game. Thank you. Eddie Kowalik, your opponent, is always talking about making banquet money on this show. This ought to buy dinner for three or four people. $1,000 for Thank your you. perfect game, Steve. <laughs> from, uh, from 
what Eddie uh, Kowalik says. Uh, he's been here all week, and uh, uh, I, I, do, I like those quick jobs. You know, you come <laughs> up and uh, go, and you got to go back home. Steve, so tell me. I appreciate it a lot. How many is this for you in the way of perfect games? This is the 14th one. Not a uh, 14th one, but only one sanction. Only one yeah. sanction. Yes, was sir. there any ball in that entire string that there was any doubt in your mind on at all? I think it was the fifth one on number six alley. Was that the one where Eddie yelled, yeah, watch Eddie, out? Yeah, hold it. Yeah. What happened on that one? Well, that alley moves a little more, and uh, I was short on the on my spot, and I thought I was going to run right, right right, through the middle. I did, too. Well, what do you think happened to hold it down there? Uh, that's the luck. <laughs> <laughs> that's I the wish one. I had such luck. Congratulations again. Thank you. Steve Nagy. Let's see.